Hello my loves, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a new pick a card reading. This one is all about what big changes are coming your way, what you can expect in regards to changes in your life that are coming in the very near future. This pick a card is timeless. No matter when you're watching this, you are called to it at a specific time for a specific reason. So if there is a pile that you find yourself drawn towards, go with that pile see which one you, you are the most like called towards. If you guys um, are new to pick a card readings and you guys need a little rundown of how it works, over here we have pile number one, then we have pile number two, three, and four. So you can take a moment, pause the video if you'd like to find the pile that you are the most drawn towards. Like I was saying, once you're done choosing your pile, you can scroll down to the comment box or the description box to find the timestamp that's linked to your specific card. Then you can go ahead and skip ahead and watch your personal reading all about some big changes coming your way. I also totally forgot to bring some crystals over here so we could place crystals on the cards. I'll be right back. All right, so if you guys like to choose with crystals below the cards, over here we have some fluorite, then we have a rose quartz Merkaba, and then we have some Herkimer diamonds, and then we also have some aventurine. So take a moment, pause the video if you'd like to find the pile that you are the most drawn towards. Then once you're done choosing, you can go ahead and scroll down to the comment box or the description box to find the timestamp that's linked to your specific card. Then you can skip ahead and watch your personal reading all about some big changes. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so pile number one, if you guys chose this pile, this is gonna be your reading for some big changes coming your way, so let's hop right into it. All right, pile number one, we have a lot going on here. This is some big news. This is a pretty big reading that I'm giving you guys, so if there's certain information here that really doesn't resonate with you, then let that be. Again, it is a general reading, so there might be certain parts that really call to you and really resonate with you, and if there's something that really doesn't resonate with you, just discard that because, again, it is a general reading, so keep that in mind, and anything is changeable. If there is something that you hear and you're like, oh my gosh, I really don't want that to happen, or whatever the case may be, this is a reading based on your current energy. You have free will. You can do anything that you put your mind to, my darling. So just keep that in mind whenever you're listening to any tarot reading out there. Um, but here is what we have for you guys. I actually see a lot of good things happening as well as some like very Whew, some big stuff. So what I'm really seeing over here, we start off with the four of voices, which is the four of swords. Then we have the five of materials reversed. Then we have the knight of inspiration upright, eight of materials upright, which is the eight of um, uh, pentacles. And then we have the three of voices, which is the swords, and then the 10 of voices. So what I'm really getting for you guys, when we start off with this four of voices and when it's next to the five of materials being reversed, this is actually a very good combination right here to start us off. So I really see that you guys are awakening. If you went through a period of, of, um, in the recent past where you felt a little bit more, um, uninspired or you felt a bit more recluse or you felt a little bit more internal for the past little while. Maybe you weren't as sociable or maybe you noticed yourself just kind of doing the same old patterns and the same old routines um, or even just feeling a little bit more introverted for the last little bit. I see that that is actually going to take a major shift um, within the next six months for you guys. Then we also do have the five of materials being reversed and this is being able to allow yourself back into your own energy, back into your own life and allowing yourself to get back out there and so the five of materials when it's upright you're blocking yourself off from something and what I'm really getting here since it's next to the four of voices I'm feeling like you guys were shutting yourselves off to yourself you guys might have been falling into habits that turn off your own emotions so you're repressing some of those emotions maybe you're just kind of dealing with those emotions um, and I do feel like you guys might have been doing things that were distracting yourself and keeping you guys occupied rather than um, following what you felt internally like you should be doing. But I feel like this was a detour that you guys had to take and that's why you felt the need to kind of, you know, maybe be a little bit more recluse or maybe, um, you know, put yourself on the back burner for a little bit. Cause I keep hearing that in my head that you guys might've put your own desires on the back burner in the recent past. And when it's next to the Knight of inspiration, you guys, the Knight of wands is essentially what that card is. Um, there's fireworks happening in this card. The horse's hair is on fire. Like I feel like you guys are stepping into a time of getting re-inspired with your own things where you're not um, constantly, you know, giving your energy away to other people. I feel like you're going to get really inspired by your own um, motivations 
and your own passions and you're going to be going in a whole new direction. This could also be somebody coming into your life for some of you guys. This could be um, a new person who kind of reinvigorates a spark in you. This could also be that you just reinvigorate the spark in yourself as well. Again, it is a general reading, so that can go two different ways in this since it is a bit more general, obviously. Um, but with this, I really feel like this is regards to career, regards to what you want to do with your life, whether that is something that makes you money or whether it is, um, you know, uh, just like a hobby or something like that, that gets you inspired. So there is something though, that's really going to get you invigorated. And when I say invigorated, I mean like, Ooh, like, like this is the type of inspiration that we get when we're, we're on a roll. You guys are going to get onto a roll. And I really see that this is going to be happening in the next six, maybe eight months for some of you. So within half a year from now, I really see you guys getting on your high horse for a little bit and getting really energized. Um, I really see this as like, you know, you wake up and you know, you can't wait to get home from work or you can't wait to, um, you know, do the things that really inspire you. You wake up in the morning and you're just like, oh my, it sets your soul on fire. I really see like fireworks going off in the next six to eight months for you guys. I also see that you might have a desire to change up a lot in your life in six to eight months from now. And what I mean by that is I feel like you guys are going to um, get so inspired and, and swift swiftly move into such a new direction with such such inspiration that it might cause you to want to move for example for some of you guys i feel like there's a good 25 percent of you guys that are like going to be looking into moving um, and then there is a large portion of you that is that you're at least going to get so inspired to where you want to change things up that are around you maybe changing up your own style a little bit um, and things like that because you're going to get very inspired you might take on a new hobby you might take on a new activity you might change your diet or something along the lines of that because there's going to be something that really sparks you something that really invigorates you and then with that eight of materials i feel like you guys are getting a new income stream in about eight to nine months from now there is going to be a new revenue kind of coming in for you guys um and it could happen sooner it could happen later again it is a general reading but for most of you i'm really seeing this like eight to nine months from now kind of um mark where you guys are going to be maybe investing in yourselves, maybe learning something new, but your guys are going to be at the point of where you actually, you know this thing quite well around the eight to nine month, month mark from now, where you guys are pretty confident in doing this new thing um, and working on it. You guys are gonna feel quite um, stable in your knowledge within it, if that makes sense. So this new thing that you guys are starting and doing, you're going to feel quite confident that you're doing a good job of it and you're going to be really inspired to even uh, perfect that craft even more, do that even more. But somehow you guys are definitely bringing in kind of a new stream of income around that time or at least your assets are increasing in some type of way. Maybe that is just a promotion if you guys already are working in a job that you really like or somehow you're changing it up. Somehow I see like a position change rather than just a raise. I really see a position change. So if you guys are currently owning your own business, maybe you're going to venture off and expand in a certain way. If you guys are working for somebody, maybe you're going to, you know, start a new job or take on more responsibility within that and it's going to cause a lot more fulfillment for you and you're going to be quite confident in what it is that you are doing and then this three of voices over here the three of voices is the three of swords so it is going to require letting go of something that you might be really tied to for some of you guys i think for half of you guys this could be an ending of a relationship um, and if that doesn't resonate with you, if you're like, I'm so happy right now, I do not see that happening, then don't worry. That's probably not what it's going to be. But if you guys kind of feel in your heart right now, if you guys are in something that has been, um, a bit unfulfilling for you, you might notice, um, around nine months to a year from now that that really begins to fall away. Again, these are very general time frames, so it could happen earlier, it could happen later, it is a very general reading, but that three of voices is definitely like, we're needing to let go of some old things. That could also be in the form of letting go of, an, of your old version of yourself, the things that you used to enjoy doing, the things that you used to 
uh, spark a lot of inspiration for you, you are letting go of some old things. This could be letting go of old friends as well, because most of the time the Three of Voices does speak more about relationships rather than um, things or lifestyles, but it can also speak about those. So for most of you guys, this is some sort of relationship, whether it be a friendship or a close partnership that you guys have had that um, is coming to an end, because I really see that you guys are shifting so much. You know, you're opening up a new chapter, and the things that are not willing to open up in that direction as well are going to be falling away in order for you to welcome in something that better fits you in this new lifestyle that you are going to be in. So there is something that will be ending. Again, it could be a career. It could be um, just an old thing, or it could be you know where you used to live, things like that. But it, because I do see this this whole shift happening, and this shift is happening because you are getting re-inspired by something new. You're letting the sparks go off within you. It's like really getting inspired about some big things, okay guys? And then with that 10 of voices, there could be something that, yes, it is, there is something that is ending around you, but the good thing that I see within this, the beauty that I see within this, I do think that this is gonna be a hard thing for you to experience is um, losing something that you enjoy very much. Um, so this could be a breakup, this could be, um, making a shift or making a big move or something along the lines of that, letting go of a job that maybe you liked because you're getting ready to move on to something new or whatever, maybe a friendship that doesn't resonate anymore. I do see it, it you are going to feel sad by it, but it's going to open your light because you do feel like there is something that you're chained to that has been weighing you down, that has been holding you back from fully expanding into the person that you know and feel the need to become. I do see as this, as you let it go, you are literally going to be opening up your light. Your light is going to begin beaming through you and opening up massively to the point where you're like, oh, I understand why that needed to happen. I feel like you're really going to open up a new doorway because of it. And you're going to be unshackled because of it, because it just seems like this old thing that you're very attached to has been kind of weighing you down um, and not letting you ascend higher to where you actually really desire to go and where you desire to be. And so you are letting go of some old things, but it's going to be very divine, very meant to be, okay? So that is the biggest things that I see for you over the next year. The next card that we have, we have Sand Castle. It's only temporary. So the current stuff that you have built up around you, the current lifestyle that you have around you, it was only built to be temporary, like a sand castle. The, the waves will come and wash it away, and then it is time to build something new. So I do see that um, you guys are going through this very uh, like shift. You guys had this chapter, but it was a temporary chapter that you've been in, um, and it's coming to its end, but it's coming to its end so that you can shine new. It's almost like, you know, building a sand castle, but then you've like built your skills to be able to build such a better sand castle, but you're not really given the opportunity to because the beach is only so big and your sand castle is what it is. Um, and you know, you're being held down and weighed down by the sand castle that you might already have. The waves will come and bring it away and wash it away so that you, now you can build something more grand with the new skills that you have, the new, ideas that you're going to be bursting with and now you finally have the space to do it because you are letting go and allowing the old things to be washed away it's not saying that they're going to be like washed away and they, that they weren't good enough everything has its own path and sometimes we split off our path with certain things because we're going in a very different direction and so i kind of see that for you guys is that you guys are going to be splitting off into a new direction and there's going to be certain things that you guys are going to have to let go of that just kind of weigh you down a little bit so that is going to be a very major theme, but again, I see it being a very good thing because again, that three of voices, she's just, the light is like a beaming from her and she's like becoming herself. She's like awakening. So I see this as more of an awakening. So I do see something, you know, something that used to really resonate with is you're not going to be resonating with it very much longer. 
And then we also have, ooh, we have palm tree. That fits in with the sandcastle very well. We have beaches and palm trees, you guys. Um, so palm tree says, newfound power and prosperity awaits. So for you guys, this is, um, Again, like I was kind of saying, that prosperity awaits. When I was talking about you guys entering kind of this new career path or this new direction, I did see an increase in finances for you guys within the next eight to nine months for a lot of you. That'll be a very particular time frame for many of you that are watching this. Um, so newfound power. You guys are finding that newfound inspiration and power within you guys. And because of that, you're going to be expanding towards that. And your prosperity is going to increase a lot. Your abundance, your money, your finances, I feel like are definitely increasing in about eight to nine months from now. And then we, ooh, we have birds of paradise. We have so many tropical things. Um, embark on a new adventure. I love birds of paradise and palm trees. Those are probably my two favorite um, plants ever. <laughs> so woo, um, embark on a new adventure. You guys are creating this new path for yourselves. You guys are going in a new direction. You guys are embarking on that new path. You guys are literally shoveling the sand out of your way, making a new road, to build your sand castle somewhere even better where the waves are not gonna wash it away anymore. Something a little bit more permanent for you guys. And then we also do have the 11th house of friends. So friend groups are probably gonna change up quite a bit. The 11th house is ruled by Aquarius. It does rule friends, it rules, um, the way we view ourselves in society, how we come out to society. So I do feel like you guys are changing your presence within society and you're probably going to open up a lot more, be able to show yourself off a lot more. The 11th house is being able to be a little bit more um, fluent on social media, a bit more open on social media, a bit more present on social media. So I do see you guys might be expanding in those realms as well. But also I do see you guys changing up your friend groups because again, I was kind of seeing s some old habits, some old things that were once holding you back and keeping you in a certain state are going to be shifting. And then we do have Jupiter of Abundance. Of course we have Jupiter of Abundance with this reading because this whole time I've been seeing lots of abundance increases for you guys this entire time. And so Jupiter's all about that expansion. So you guys are expanding yourselves. You guys are reaching new heights over the next year. Um, and again, I do see for some of you guys that could involve a move um, or at least a big change up in yourself. like like finally like your light is being turned on and you're like, all right, I'm ready to expand and to go for the things that I desire. And then we also have the fifth house of creativity. This house is ruled by Leo. This house also rules children, things like that. But um, our creative energy is what creates children. So that's why it rules kind of both of them. If you guys are not of age of children, it's not, even remotely, I feel like for most of you guys, this is not talking about children whatsoever. This is talking about your own willpower of creativity. So what I'm seeing for you guys is that you are opening up that, that whole passion spark. You are opening up that new realm to where I feel like you guys are also going to be quite busy. Cause when I look at that eight of pentacles, as well as, um, all of the creativity that's around here, all the expansion that's around here, I really think you guys are going to become very busy over the next eight to, eight to nine months, um, eight to 10 months even. So I do feel like you guys are taking on new tasks, new responsibilities. I feel like you guys are going to be on the up and up. You guys aren't going to be um, so like hermit or very relaxed. I feel like you guys are truly like awakening and becoming very busy and becoming very like, okay, it's go time. Like I really hear like the go time word in my head when I'm thinking of this. So. Passion sparks are turning on that Jupiter abundance. I see this lightning bolt coming down. I really feel like you're just getting like this inspiration where there's going to be some quick changes because lightning signifies big, quick change. And lightning is also inspiration. It's creativity. It's, it's ruled by fire. It is fire. And so that the fire is that fire in our belly to go and do something, to go and create something. It's what creates that motivation and that inspiration. And then also the fact that we do have Sandcastle. Again, that's kind of reminding me, since it is more of a homey type thing, some of you guys will either be renovating a part of your home, doing something different, maybe painting or, or, or um, like changing something up in the home or moving or actually doing a physical move. But somehow your home is going to change up a little bit and you might be doing some big things around your home as well. Then the next two cards that we have, ooh, like dropping them over here. Let's see. So we have, I go with the flow 
and feel my connection to the stream of life. So I feel like this is going to happen so naturally. I feel like you guys might be listening to this right now thinking about like, how is this all going to transpire? How am I gonna know it's the right time? What are the, gonna be the events that cause this? I really feel like this is gonna be a very internal feeling for most of you guys. It's going to be very, um, like events are just going to transpire around you. I don't even think you have to be too conscious about this, although being conscious is always a good thing, but I really feel like this is something that's gonna happen regardless of how you, um, I mean, unless you like really decide that I don't, that you didn't want this, but all of this sounds pretty Gucci to me. Um, but yeah, I go with the flow and feel my connection to the stream of life. I really feel like you guys are in the stream. You are in the basket. You are being flowed and guided down that river. So as long as you just listen to your own instincts, the universe is guiding you to the perfect place and all of this is transpiring. Even the fact that yes, you guys might be leaving behind some things that you once cared about. I really feel like it's, it's actually quite important and it's going to lead you to a much better place. It's like you guys are getting rid of some old furniture to make room for some new furniture. And that could actually be literal for some of you guys as well, but also metaphorical. Um, you know, you're really letting go of some old things that maybe once meant a lot to you, but it's making room for things, for new things to come in for you to be able to experience um, more abundance and more expansion in your life. So I really see that that is going to be, um, it's just a big, very meant to be kind of more destined thing um, within your life. Although again, your destiny is very much up to you, but I really feel like you guys in this reading, you guys are getting in touch with the destiny that you actually desire. So um, that's what I'm seeing here. And then we also have the universe supports me in every way. So that's very powerful to have that card in this reading as well. So um, the universe supporting you, of course, that is something that we all want to hear. So just so you know, as you're going through this, as you're making these big shifts, sometimes it can be very stressful. Sometimes we can get very anxious and nervous because we're like, okay, am I making all the right decisions? What's happening? The universe is guiding you through this. Just know that this is just a river that is taking you to your goal. But as the river is taking you to your goal, there's certain things that do not want to also go down that river, but you're really desiring whatever end result it is that you guys are trying to manifest and certain things will fall out of your life, but you'll make room for the new things that you'll meet along the way. So the universe is supporting you in every way through this journey. So just know that you guys. Oh, and then we have the card of journey to wholeness. Wow, you guys, the card of journey to wholeness. This is your journey to becoming, and you already are, 100% whole and complete already. But this is your journey to finally that self-realization of you are whole and complete just as the way that you are. And I feel like you're going to be unlocking more of that within yourself, revealing more of that within yourself, seeing more of that in, within yourself as you become more aligned to the you that you are destined to be, the you that you are creating yourself to be. And then we also have internal explorer. Wow. So I do think that you guys have done a lot of internal exploration over the past little while, um, which is why we had the four of swords to begin us off. You guys have been doing a lot of internal exploration. And because of that, I feel like you guys have this deeper sense of awareness within you. And so when you start to get back into the real world, I think things are going to happen very quickly as you start to really get yourself out there and get in touch with that because you're more in touch with your um, internal emotions and things like that. As you begin to more, uh, uh, implement that more and see that more by taking action with it and taking action from a place of of um, like conscious idea and conscious intention. I really feel like things are going to happen quite quick for you over the next year of you getting into alignment with your divine self, your divine purpose and what you really desire to do and create on this planet. So that's what I'm really seeing is going to be happening for you guys over the next year. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading pile number one. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button down below if you guys want to see more content like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, so pile number two, my rose quartz macabre pile. If you guys chose this one, this is going to be some big changes heading your way. So let's hop right into it. All right, so pile number two, here's what we have for you guys. We start off with the strength over here, then we have the four of inspiration, then we have the hermit, then we have the chariot, then we have the five of voices, and then we have the nine of voices being reversed. So 
what I'm really seeing for you guys um, over here when we start off with the strength card, some really big changes that are coming into your life. I feel like you're going to be really stepping into your power over the next four months. And so um, when it's next to the four of inspiration as well, which is the four of wands, this is really setting a strong foundation for yourself. You're really learning how to stand your ground, how to keep your ground, and how to truly respect yourself. And so over the next four months, some big changes that you're gonna be going through is really having to um, solidify yourself in your own essence. And so um, being able to be very self-aware of who you are and being very confident in that. So I really see you guys are raising a lot of confidence, a lot of patience. You guys are finally, um, and I think you're gonna do a lot of this via self-reflection when we when it's next to the hermit. So I really feel like um, through a lot of self-reflection time, through a lot of contemplation, I feel like you're going to embark on one of the biggest growth journeys that you guys have ever been on in life, but I really feel like you guys are coming out of this with more confidence than you've ever felt before. This is almost like this this learning journey. I also see you guys doing a lot of like, you know, research online of, you know, um, more self-awareness and more um, like being confident. I think you're gonna have a lot of people or people that you watch online that you're very inspired by. And I really think you're gonna be learning a lot from them and it's going to, cause you to be so much more confident in yourself. And I really think you're gonna get more into alignment with who you are and you're going to solidify and make a true foundation for yourself over the next four to five months, I really feel like is going to be a big learning time. I really think you're gonna be a little bit more introverted, but it's because I think you're gonna get so inspired um, and go kind of on a learning binge. And I really think you're gonna be observing some people that you are uh, really inspired by. And what I will tell you guys, a beautiful thing that I'm gonna tell you about, tell you guys, anytime you're inspired by someone, it is because that person has a quality that you resonate with, especially if you are um, aware of what quality that is. So say you're inspired by somebody because you really like the way that they speak or the confidence in their voice or how they hold themselves and you know that, that, that sort of thing or whatever it is that you're inspired about by somebody. You are inspired about that particular aspect because you have that already within yourself and so you're awakening it. You're just awakening a piece, a piece of yourself that is, um, that has been shut off or hasn't been yet noticed or realized or awakened. And so whenever you see that, it is because you resonate with that. That's why you enjoy it. That's why it inspires you is because you're awakening and resonating a certain aspect of yourself that is so ready to be noticed and so ready to be opened up. And so I really feel like you're going to be opening yourself up in many different aspects by what you're inspired by. And so there could be certain things, this, I, and I really feel like this is a very divine part of your journey. Let me just say that. This is such a divine part of your journey is going on this little bit of a binge, let's call it, of learning, which um, is actually very good. That's a good type of binge, right? So I really feel like you're going to be um, just in this like little... Uh, learning curve for a bit, but it's very self-inspired, you know? And I really think that, I, I just keep visioning you guys um, in the evening, like on your laptop or something like that, watching videos and, and um, or like reading some certain things or just learning. There's gonna be something that you're very enticed by and very inspired by, but I think it's gonna play a big aspect in you kind of awakening who you are. It's also next to the chariot, so this is really going to push you and pull you into a new direction. I really feel like it's going to awaken and light up this certain aspect of yourself that you're very inspired to awaken. And it's going to call you and pull you into a new direction. But this direction is so divine that you go in this, this, this way, um, especially if you feel inspired by it and only if you feel inspired by it. But I really see that you guys are going to be inspired by it. That's kind of what is really playing out over here. And so over the next like seven to eight months, I really feel like you're gonna be like really divinely called in this new direction. And as you explore that, I think it's going to work out a lot of things in your life that were once very confusing or um, once held you back or kept you feeling a bit more insecure and things like that. So it's going to eventually kind of highlight those certain areas where you'll finally need to um, utilize the things that you've learned. And so we do have the five of voices after the chariot. And so the chariot is you kind of being, you know, called in that new direction. 
as you go in that new direction, you might notice certain resistance coming up. You might notice that um, there's going to be certain obstacles that you need to face and kind of hurdle over because it just seems that these are things, it could have even been things from the past that are re-coming up in order for you to now use this newfound confidence, this newfound knowledge in order to navigate it and actually clear it. Because there's certain things from the past or certain things maybe within yourself that you've held, your back, held yourself back in certain ways or you felt that oh, I shouldn't speak up for myself because of this, or I don't have enough confidence, so I don't want to do that because, you know, you didn't yet feel as if you had the confidence yet to do that or had the knowledge yet to do that, but I really feel like you guys, with this learning um, binge that you're going on, it's going to bring you the opportunity to finally stand up for yourself, but from a place of confidence, not from a place of ego. This is from a place of just confidence. This is just from a place of like, all right, I am going to now face those parts within myself that I held myself back and I can now finally stand up for myself and say that no, I am worthy, I am knowledgeable, I am, I am me and just because I'm me, I am worthy and I'm worth what I desire and I will go after what I desire and I will have a strong foundation for myself to just be me. Um, and then we do also have the nine of voices being reversed. I feel like this is going to cause you to become so much more calm and so much more there's so much reassurance happening here like reassurance is a huge words that uh, a huge word that's coming to my mind this nine of voices being reversed is like you guys can finally sleep at night you guys finally feel like wow like the problems that once hurtled you and bothered you are gone they're literally just gone because of this new foundation that you've made for yourself. And you finally feel more, just calm and serene is coming to my mind, calm and serene. And it just feels like, like strong, it feels confident, it feels stable and it feels safe. And I really feel like you guys are gonna find a lot of like sovereignty within this. And it's going to clear out so many old things where you used to say no to yourself, you're finally going to be able to say yes to yourself. Um, the chariot can also indicate that we, um, because we're so much going in this new direction, we're kind of changing our wheels and things like that. Sometimes it can literally mean that we get like a new car or we repair our car in a certain way or we do something to where we feel like our movement can be better supported. So um, that's just for some of you guys um, here. And um, I do think that that kind of, it does transpire because a lot of the times whatever we do internally reflects externally as well. So anytime we move ourselves in a new direction or anytime we overcome certain obstacles or we change the way we move ourselves and our foundation with that, sometimes it can change our actual vehicle that we physically actually drive in. So it could be, um, that could be for some of you as well, just putting it out there because I have seen that a lot in my own life and a lot in my friends' lives as well. They'll usually get new cars when they are um, changing up the way that they move themselves throughout life. Hopefully that makes sense. Then we also have the card here of murky waters. Self-reflection and introspection are needed to regain clarity. So again, like I was saying, you guys are going into that little bit of that hermit mode for a bit where you guys are gonna do a lot of that introspection and a lot more like internal learning because I think you guys are gonna, again, I, I for some reason just keep seeing you guys on your laptops like watching like YouTube videos or reading certain articles about, about you know, things where it's a bit more of self-development for you because I think you're observing it because you're inspired by these certain things and you're gonna be incorporating them more into who you are. And then we also have man grooves, get grounded, extend your roots and gain stability. Oh my gosh, this is what we've been talking about is like the roots, the foundation, get grounded, gain stability. We've been talking about that this whole time. So over the next little while, that is gonna be one of the biggest changes that you guys go, go through. And I think out, uh, the outcome of this is you are going to be such a different person, but not yet different because you are, you've become someone else, but because you've awakened who you really are inside. And you seem different. You're going to act a bit differently because you finally fully awakened yourself, if that makes sense. It's almost like, you know, you walk into a room and only one of the light bulbs are working. 
and we, we can't really see the whole room. We don't really understand the whole room. There's a lot of insecurities. There's a lot of unknown. The room can't really stand up for itself because it doesn't yet know who it is either because we cannot see in it yet. And then all of a sudden, all these light bulbs get turned on because we begin to observe through others and through, you know, being able to do that self-reflection because we are able to walk through our own self, our own home within, the own home without. Um, and we begin to, you know, shine our own lantern and begin to just feel around and see like, oh, there's this little nook over here. And oh, I didn't realize I had a whole kitchen in my house. And then I have this whole backyard over here. And then I have this. And then, ooh, I'm inspired by houses that have this. So I'm going to awaken that within me and realize that I also have that within me. And that's why I resonate with it. And then, you know, you begin to decorate yourself and begin to become and awaken who you really are. So this is what I kind of see you guys doing. It's like you're really turning on that light within, being, being able to truly explore yourself and through being able to explore yourself you get you get very familiar with who you are and therefore you feel much more strong and much more confident you're able to speak about who you are because now you know who you are you're able to um awaken in and discover what your passions are because now you fully you're fully realized if that makes sense Whew, my throat is getting so itchy today My allergies keep happening because we always have this bad air quality in California and constantly my throat is feeling itchy. Then we also have the hibiscus flower. Enjoy each moment to the fullest. <sighs> guys, I really see that you guys are going to be able to, um, I just see you guys getting so inspired, honestly. like. And I do feel like a lot of it comes from being online. And I know a lot of people say that we should spend more time away from those things, but I see that this is going to actually be a good thing for you for the next little bit, as long as it's inspiring to you, as long as you're watching things that are inspiring to you, rather than reflecting on the things that are not inspiring to you, reflect on the things that really do inspire you and allow it to really awaken you because I see you guys really doing that and being able to enjoy each moment to the fullest. So. I see as you begin to fully awaken yourself, as you begin to blossom, because this is a flower just like fully blossoming, as you begin to do that, you're now able to enjoy each moment to its fullest because now you're fully open to embrace all of the energy, all of the good experiences, all of the things of life that is there to experience. Okay, so hopefully that's making sense over there. Our next three cards that we have over here, we have Virgo, I analyze, and it is upside down at the moment. So this is, I really see again, you guys doing research. This card right here, right here for some reason, is speaking to me like research, being on the grind, being able to analyze within yourself and within whatever that you're taking in um, and doing a lot of reflection in that way, but without being too harsh or critical, because Virgo tends to be over, they overanalyze things. They're overly critical. So watch out for being overly critical of yourself. Rather, instead, analyze, you know, what you enjoy and begin to just allow that to awaken you, you know? Don't be harsh with yourself of like, why aren't I like that yet? Does it make sense? Don't do that. Don't fall into the bad route. There's always two ways you can observe something. You can overanalyze and allow it to be to your detriment, or you can analyze and be like, you know what, I'm gonna awaken this in me, I'm gonna do it, and allow it to be an inspiration to you. And then we have Mercury Retrograde of reinvention, you guys. This is reinventing who you are, going through that time of like, um, realizing what's inspiring to you and being able to incorporate that into your self-image because that's who you are internally anyway. And then we also have Jupiter Return of Benefit, you guys. This is going to benefit you so much. This is going to allow you to expand. This is going to allow you to be abundant. This is going to allow you to realize any obstacles that used to be in front of you and all of a sudden you leap over them um, and you begin to realize that you are truly limitless, you guys. This is when you realize that yes, you are limitless. Okay, and then we also have these next two cards. I am worthy of the very best in life and I now lovingly allow myself to accept it. I don't even need to explain what that card means, okay? I'm just gonna read that one more time for you guys because that is hugely impactful for you guys here. So I am worthy of the very best in life and I now lovingly allow myself to accept it. Okay, very Gucci. And then we have I let go of all expectations. That is so important. Whenever we 
expect things to turn out a very particular way, sometimes we end up blocking off the best path for us because sometimes in our own perception and our own experience, we think, okay, well, I can see that this might be the best option. But if you expect that option to happen, the universe might be like, oh, but there is actually something that you've never experienced before that you couldn't even fathom of that is even better. And so as long as you let go of expectations and you just, you just say and make the um, intention that you are going to have the best possible outcome of any of these scenarios and you allow it to be what it is. And sometimes the universe steers us in a direction that kind of uh, pushes us off the path that we thought that we were going to be on in order for us to let that go, in order for us to stop putting our energy towards that, because then it leads us to a door that we didn't know existed that then we open we walk down and we're like, this is the best possible thing on the freaking planet. What? Like it's, I always use these house examples, but like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. So say you have seen such a beautiful house and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm manifesting the perfect house. It's gotta be one that looks like this, da 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 da. And the universe just like absolutely crushes that dream, which is something that's happened to me, by the way, when I was looking at houses in the new city that I live in. I thought I'd found the perfect house and I got so sad when they didn't accept me. And I don't know even why they didn't accept me. They didn't even give me a valid reason for that. They just, I don't know, maybe I was like too young or something and they were like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But at the time I was like, that's the best house I've ever seen in this city. Oh my gosh, why is the universe crushing my dreams? It don't make sense. It was the best house that I'd seen to that day at that time. And my mom kept telling me too, she was like, just wait and watch. If that one didn't work out, is it is because there's something better for you. So if you let go of expectations, because I was expecting like, oh, I need to get that house. I'm manifesting it. I'm putting all my energy there. And the universe is like, no, 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 no. That's not, that's, that one's not even meant for you. I get it's the best that you've seen so far, but it's not meant for you. And then I, right when I allowed that and I just accepted it and I let go of the expectation and I just trusted the universe and I said, okay, universe, you are going to bring me to the actual best house. You're going to do it. And then all of a sudden I saw this one and it all worked out. And I was like, wow. And, and trust me, you guys, this place is like over 10 times better than what the last place that I was even looking at. This is just like, it blows me away every single day. And so as long as you let go of the expectations and trust that the universe knows the best outcome, sometimes you will be let down in certain things, especially because if you have expectations and sometimes the universe is like, but that's not actually the best thing. And if you're wanting to actually truly manifest the best thing, then please just like, let go of the expectation, let go of it and just allow the universe to unfold naturally. Yes, we go through obstacles. Yes, we go through disappointments, but then we always end up at the best possible ending as long as you set that intention. So let go of expectations. You are worthy of the very best in life and you should now lovingly allow yourself to accept it. Okay. Okay. So some powerful changes, you guys. Then we also have the high heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. You guys, you are on a journey of welcoming an ecstatic bliss into your life. So I really feel like you're, again, you're going on this like knowledge binge, but it's really bringing you to, it's going to play such an important role. You guys, I just keep seeing it and I keep seeing it and I keep seeing it. It is awakening parts of yourself that need to be awakened in order for you to set the proper foundation, to set the proper like tone of your life so that now as things begin to unfold, you are doing it from the place of the best possible version of you. And you're going to continue unlocking the best possible version of you and continue continuing to unlock the best possible outcomes. But as long as you realize that you do deserve the very best, set that intention, you are getting the very best. So as everyone else, we all have different journeys in life and there's more than enough to go around. And then you let go of the expectations that you might currently have based on current experience because you might think that you know what's best, but trust me, <laughs> the universe has shocked me in many ways, but somehow it has, it will always end on the best possible thing for you as long as you let go of the expectation and then you continue to allow. Because the only way that we can stop this from happening um, is not being able to let go of the old expectation that we had and attaching ourselves to a specific outcome. And then we get disappointed and we're like, oh my God, the universe didn't hear me. I wanted this thing to happen and it didn't happen. And it's, the universe is literally like, I'm waiting for your gift around the corner. Just continue walking and you will see it. I had to make the other one not work out because it was not the best option, but just gotta listen. Guys, gotta listen. Um, 
And then we have the throat chakra, express your truth. So I do see you guys also, when we have the five of, boy, five of voices, then we also have the express your truth card over here. I also see that you guys are going to have certain confrontations that will be coming up where you guys really need to express your full truth and your full honesty. I kind of see you guys as being a little bit shy previously, but as you kind of go through this awakening, you're going to gain so much more confidence and you will have to work out some certain things. And I know how fun that sounds, but trust me, there's always a reason why. And there's always great outcomes when doing this. There's always a purpose behind it. And it is part of the journey where we need to fully express ourselves. We need to have these certain deep, important conversations that can help us clear the past away or clear some certain things and allow us to also voice ourselves and be confident in voicing what we desire, what we want, what we deserve, what our worth is, and allowing that to be recognized by the people around us as well. So I kind of see you guys going through that massive awakening and kind of big, um, like, incorporating your strength finally, finding your strength internally and being able to fully express that. So that's what I see you guys going through over the next year. Those are some big changes coming for you guys. Pile number two, hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below if you've not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, so pile number three, my Herkimer diamonds. Let's find out some big changes coming your guys' way. So let's hop right into it. I have wings. <laughs> sweater's so big. Anyway, so pile number three. Here is what we have for you guys. We start off with the lover's card. Then we have the six of inspiration. Then we have the five of inspiration. Then we have the temperance. Then we have justice being reversed. And then we have the magician. So lots of upright cards, um, lots of major arcana cards too. So what I want to first talk about over here for you guys, pile number three, um, there is a huge energy of massive change, like more of like a destined sort of change happening over here because whenever we have a lot of major arcana cards in a pile, this is very like major. And so a lot of you guys watching this probably also currently feel this sort of energy that's been telling you that there's some sort of big change that's about to come for you guys. I feel like a lot of you guys watching this are already feeling that energy of where you're kind of just sitting there being like, I feel like something big is about to happen in my life. I feel like some big change is about to happen in my life. And I feel like that's also why um, a lot of you guys clicked on this video in particular. And I also feel like a vast majority of you guys are gonna somehow pick this pile um, because a lot of you guys feel that massive change happening. And so I don't know how this is all gonna transpire, um, but I'm sort of kind of feeling that message. Like there's a lot of you guys that are gravitated towards this pile, like probably over half of you guys that chose this pile versus the other piles because you guys feel like this big change coming on. And for some reason from this pile, I'm feeling like huge magnetic like shift happening in this pile. And so this is kind of like one of those um, moments in our lives where we just feel like something big is about to happen and we just kind of know it internally, although it hasn't maybe transpired quite yet. So what I'm seeing for you guys, the fact that we start off with the lovers over here and it's next to the six of inspiration, the lovers is like we are um, stepping up to who we really want to be and there could also be a new connection coming into our lives that inspires us in a new way especially when it's next to the six of inspiration over here i really see that you guys are um there there could be like this new person coming into your life that causes you to shift directions a little bit but i see this kind of directional shift where you guys get really inspired by something that causes you to kind of move a little bit in a new direction and kind of change things up a little bit. And it might cause a little bit of friction in your life when it's next to the five of inspiration as well. So there is something new coming in. I feel like it might be inspired by a new person coming into your life. This could be a new friendship. This could be a new coworker. This could be um, like a new romantic interest for some of you guys. But for most of you guys, I feel like this is more of like, just like kind of, a random event, this new person's coming in and somehow their energy is going to really inspire you. Their energy is going to be very like inspirational to you. This could also come in the form of like, you know, even just watching somebody online or something like that you, that you get inspired by for some of you guys. Um, some of you guys, this will be an in-person person that's physically coming into your life in some sort of way. And I do feel like they're going to really make you feel quite good. Like this energy is like, like you're going to feel quite inspired by this person. You're going to feel quite inspired by this energy and it's going to awaken up and liven you up a lot. And I really feel like you're going to feel very good because of it. With that six of inspiration, I feel like, um, 
it's just awakening in you those feelings again of feeling like, like, oh, I'm on top. Like, I want to keep doing this. I want to keep doing that. And it's going to kind of invigorate you with a lot of energy. When it's next to that five of inspiration, like I was saying, this is kind of going to cause some, some major shifts in your life and some people that might not be so Gucci with those shifts. And so there might be certain people in your life that are like, wait, what? What new direction are you going in? What's happening over here? Like what's going on? And so I feel like it's going to cause a little bit of that in your life for sure of some people kind of like asking questions about this and that, but I do feel like it's, it's fine. It's not going to be bad uh, because it is right side up. This isn't like too conflicting. This is a little just, just like different opinions kind of coming in because of this like change up of energy. It might cause a little bit of like, um, like a mini chaotic kind of moment for a little bit, um, a mini chaotic few days while you kind of change things up. You might forget about previous plans that you've had. You might forget about previous schedules and routines that you've had because of this new inspiration that's coming into your life because you're gonna get so inspired by this new thing that's kind of coming in that I think it's gonna cause you to shift and have to shift quite a few things that are in your life. And then we do also have the temperance over here. So this could cause you to have to take um, a new path and put some old things on the back burner for a little while because you're going to get very inspired by this kind of new direction, this new inspiration, this new feeling that's kind of coming in. And this temperance is like, we're taking a little bit of a journey, you guys. And this journey might change up quite a few things. You could also start traveling quite a bit as well because the temperance can also talk a bit about travel. Um, as well. So I do want that to, to be out there. I do feel like you guys might be having to, or at least take a break from old things. So those can kind of go hand in hand if you guys kind of get what I'm saying over here, but there's somehow like a distance. This is a distance from your old life. This could be a distance, like a physical distance of like traveling or going on some sort of road trip or something like that, or at least being at a distance from like the old way of doing things in your life and causing some major shifts like that, having to take a little bit more of a journey yourself, but it's also gonna be like so divinely guided that this happens. Um, and I really feel like you're going to be incorporating an aspect of yourself that you're like, I just didn't think that all of this would happen. I just didn't think that it'd be going in this new direction. I think it's going to be quite a surprise to you guys. And then also with that justice being reversed, I do think that there will be a bit of an imbalance. It will cause a bit of an imbalance in your life because you're making these big shifts. So yes, it's going to cause like this tipsy turvy, topsy turvy kind of like feeling. And it might feel like, oh, wow, I just completely forgot about those other things that I was supposed to be doing because I'm so caught up in like this new shift, this new world that I'm entering, this new world that I'm creating. Um, but I do, yeah, I feel like a lot, for a lot of you guys, it is a person. And this new person is going to add a lot of inspiration to you and cause a lot of shifts happening. And then we do also have this magician card. So this is kind of like getting our act together. So within like the next probably eight months, you're going to finally be, begin to like shift and get your act together again. And I really think that this is going to be like a missing piece for you. Um, and it's not necessarily that this person was a missing piece, but at least what they're adding into your life, like the inspiration that you're getting from this has been the missing piece for you to kind of like, um, realize and, and, broaden yourself and expand yourself into um, a new realm and kind of embrace some new energy and be, get, be getting really creative again. It's going to cause you to get very creative again and it's going to cause you to be um, just very full of life. Like I see this like, whoo, and I feel like even when you're going through these certain change ups and these certain obstacles that are going to come up, because again, it's going to cause you to forget a lot of responsibilities that you might have had, these types of things. I do feel like you guys aren't going to be upset while going through that. I feel like you guys are going to take it with a grain of salt and just be like, oh, I'm having so much fun anyway. I can't believe it. Completely forgot about that. Like, oops, hee <laughs> hee. Like, I kind of see it as more of that kind of playful energy. I don't see you guys missing anything that's too important, but it could just be like, you know, certain things where you like, oh, I promised I'd get friend, get lunch with my friend today. Oh, I completely forgot I had to do that. Like I was so caught up in this new thing, this new exciting thing, or I forgot to get back to these phone calls or these emails that I was supposed to get back to. And it's like, oops, I'm going to do that now. Um, so I do see this kind of like change up of this energy. That's very, it's very shifting and it's very like inspirational at the same time. Like it just feels so good. And it's going to again, cause you to change up so much of your life, but in the best way possible. I don't feel like you guys are ever going to be the same after it. Somehow it's like adding in new, just new inspiration. When I look at that six of inspiration, I really see that you guys are just like awakening a bit more of a fun, sort of a little bit of a wild side, a little bit. It's kind of awakening a bit of like that, um, 
you know like kids when they play and they just like don't really care about anything and they're just so free and just so open and everything is just so exciting because the world is so new and it, there's everything so vibrant vibrant is the world the word that i'm looking for you guys are going to feel very vibrant again and very like Ooh, like this and like that and that experience it's gonna feel like you're experiencing a whole new world again because you're getting kind of opened up to this whole new perspective this whole new kind of like realm and i feel like everything's gonna be quite vibrant again in your life and you're gonna feel very good about it it's just gonna be like oh so it's like connecting you to a piece of yourself that you're supposed to awaken again and kind of like i've been noticing there's a theme in these cards where this message kind of keeps coming up a lot but I don't know guys it's just like i guess that's like a collective energy that we may be going through right now but i do see that for like a lot of piles but it's kind of awakening in a different way for everyone for you guys i really see this coming out through a different person like there's going to be another person that's kind of awakening this and kind of sparking this idea for you guys um and i do feel like you're going to meet them quite quick off the bat i feel like within the next two three months and all of this will kind of transpire over the next eight to nine months and then we also have the island card find strength in solitude so island kind of reminds me more of travel in this moment when i'm looking at this for some reason it's reminding me of kind of like solitude because you're traveling away from or at least taking a break from an old life from your old life there's solitude in experiencing something new because it's different from what we've always, always experienced you know what i mean so i find that there's a bit more of that energy within this, but this could also be that, you know, you are taking a break. Yeah, it's again reiterating, like you guys are taking a break from your old life and not even a break. I really don't think that you guys are going back to your old version of being. I feel like this is going to awaken this whole new side of you that you're so inspired by that you end up just on this new path, on this new routine. You're, you're truly kind of like awakening and becoming like a new version of you, if that makes sense. And then we also have the green flash. The impossible is possible. Ooh. Ooh, I really like the sound of that. So the impossible is possible, you guys. And you guys also ch chose the Herkimer diamond. Like, wow, that's a pretty powerful stone, right? And also, it's funny, if you look at these, I believe with like a UV light, they actually turn green. And then we have the green flash over here really interesting wow maybe you guys should surround yourself by some green energy or get out in nature or something like that because i feel like it's going to help kind of awaken that energy for you um but the impossible is possible i'm gonna let that speak for itself because i don't really think that that needs too much explanation behind it but that's just saying like you know I, I feel like you guys were once thinking that oh it's impossible for me to like get to that point or get to that point in my life where i'm feeling that type of way again but all of a sudden you're gonna be like oh that was possible <laughs> the impossible is now possible and i feel like it's gonna unlock a lot of new ideas for you a lot of new realms of consciousness for you to where you're like i have all these new ideas i have all this new inspiration i have all this new direction that i never even thought of before because you just weren't in that state before oh and then we have high tide energy is rising emotions are escalating we've been having a lot of high tide here where i live um but yeah wow energy is rising emotions are escalating whoo you guys I really feel like you are getting more invigorated and more vibrant than you've ever been. Um, I feel like you're going to be able to experience everything from a heightened emotional state, from a heightened perspective, because you're going to be able to feel more vibrant about life again, because there is that more vibrancy. So that's kind of like what I'm seeing from that card and what that's kind of reiterating over there. And then we also have Grand Trine of Blessings, guys. You are getting full blessings it just it's gonna seem like everything's working out in your life it's gonna seem like everything's kind of like no matter what happens it just seems like it's gonna be the biggest blessing for you and somehow it's just gonna all work out and i really see like this such an optimistic such a high vibe perspective that no matter what happens during your day normal things that you would have gotten upset about are all of a sudden not going to upset you anymore and you're just going to be on this like heightened state like this high vibe heightened state and then we also have the earth element of stability i feel like you guys are going to feel very safe and very grounded through all of this 
And I feel like this is gonna be a very permanent change for you as well when you have the earth element. I see this, this speaks permanency to me. Like this isn't going to be just like a temporary shift. I really see this as a long lasting, permanent new state of being, new high vibe state. And then we also have the 12th house of escape. And so that one is reversed. So I feel like you guys are not gonna feel the need to escape this new life. I feel like you guys are going to feel very like present to the moment because usually the 12th house is like, we are very shifty with our consciousness. We're very like over here, like if you think about Pisces, which is ruled by the 12th house, the 12th house is ruled by Pisces. Um, Pisces tend to be, and I love Pisces by the way, I love them so much, my mom's a Pisces, but um, they tend to be a sign that is very much in their head. And so even in conversation, you know, you're, if you have a long story for a Pisces, sometimes Pisces is that one that all of a sudden just drifts off into a daydream and they're like, da 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 because they're the sign that is constantly in between. They're constantly connected to the unconscious and the conscious. And so they're also very psychic because they're very good at feeling and, and hearing what's actually being revealed underneath. So um, with this, when it's upside down, I really think that you guys are gonna be more present than ever. Rather than so daydreamy all the time, I feel like your daydreams are gonna become more solidified reality and you won't need to be daydreaming. You're just gonna be very present because everything's so vibrant around you that you become very like heightened awareness with, with what's around you and what's happening because there is just this sense of like, like, so many good things are happening. There's so much happening that it just keeps your attention in a very present moment. Then our next two cards that we have over here, we have slow process is still progress or slow progress is still progress. I am doing the best I can. So don't worry, don't give yourself a hard time if you notice that yes, you're forgetting certain tasks, you're forgetting this, you're forgetting that. Any progress is still progress at the end of the day. And I do feel like you guys are gonna be at such a high vibe where it just, it's not really gonna matter um, and even though that maybe you've been waiting for this moment your whole life, you've been waiting for this sort of like kind of breakthrough to finally happen, um, slow progress is still progress. You've made this progress. You deserve this break. You deserve all these good feelings coming in. And then we also have the card of the, in the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole and complete. Ooh, guys, in the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole and complete, where you guys are. All is perfect and whole and complete. So I really feel like you guys are gonna start to feel a lot of that. And it's very divine, because there's all these stars in this card, and it really reminds me of like, it's just aligned in the stars. It feels like it's, it's a destiny. It feels like it's kind of faded for this kind of shift to happen and take place within your life. And then we, ooh, we also have the card of home. I feel like you guys are gonna feel more home than you've ever felt before. I feel like you guys are gonna feel more like aligned, like I was saying because it's finally gonna feel like this is where I belong. You're going to feel that sense of like, this is where I belong this whole time. You're gonna feel, when you look back on the past, you're gonna think like, I was pretty lost back then. Like I didn't really know where I was or what I was doing because I, I, I wasn't feeling aligned. And now you're finally getting to this point where you're getting introduced to that feeling of being aligned and where you belong. And it's going to feel so good. And then we also have the card to end us off, endless opportunities, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I feel like you're gonna feel as if you've opened up the door of infinite ideas, infinite potential of yourselves. And you're gonna finally get that glimpse of seeing it, being it, feeling it, being immersed into it. And so with that, I feel like you're going to really open up so many doorways for yourselves over the next little bit. And you're going to feel so good. It's like that high tide is coming in. And with that high tide, it is bringing all the gifts from in the sea. All the treasure is just washing up on shore for you guys. And that is your grand shrine of blessings. So that is what I see for you guys. Pile number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right. So pile number four, my last pile. If you guys chose this one, this is going to be a reading all about some big changes heading your way. So let's hop right into it. All right, so pile number four, here's what we have for you guys. We start off with the Hierophant, then we have the Moon Reverse, then we have the Nine of Emotions, then we have Ace of Emotions, and we have Muse of Materials, and then we have the Knight of Emotions. The Muse of Materials is the King of Pentacles, just so you guys know. Um, I've been using these cards for a little bit, but 
I feel like the wording is sometimes a little bit confusing, especially if you guys um, aren't familiar with this deck. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, so when we start off over here with the hero fint, you guys, um, and when it's next to the moon being reversed, you guys are going through a time of some shadow work, I would say. And what shadow work is, I know sometimes the word can be a little bit like confusing and it's like, wait, what, what's that? I don't know what that is. It is essentially a time of when we are confronting our shadow. We're confronting the things within us that we internally didn't really realize that were there, that were holding us back in certain ways, certain traumas that we've held on to that have expressed themselves. Because anytime we hold on to a trauma, a lot of the times we can get triggered by like outside events or people or things like that. And we feel like it's always them that are the ones that are triggering us, but sometimes it's just unresolved trauma within us, unresolved things within us, um, emotional things that we've been carrying. Sometimes we can get it from our parents. Sometimes like there's uh, just certain things that can cause us to be a little bit more blocked and not as open and things like that. So I feel like you guys are going through a bit of a time when you guys are gonna be doing some shadow work and shadow work is basically when we, when we realize these things and we're able to see it and then allow it to just go away. Because once you recognize something, once you recognize an aspect of yourself that has been like uh, not um, fully realized or you're, you've been repressing an old thing, right when we see it, all of a sudden it almost just vanishes because we then understand why we've been a certain way and all of a sudden it's just healed. It heals through recognition, through awareness. So. I do see you guys are going to, over the next like about four months, you're gonna be kind of seeing some like deeper things within that have been causing you to be blocked from what you desire. Cause the next card that we have is the nine of emotions being reversed. And so the nine of emotions, when it's reversed, this is us not getting a wish of ours or we keep getting the wish, but it keeps showing up with baggage. Like the wish keeps having, like it's not perfect, if that makes sense. And so we're wondering, okay, why isn't my manifestation happening? Why isn't my manifestation coming in the way that I've been wanting it to come forth? It is because there are some certain shadow aspects of yourself that need confrontation, that need to be brought to light in order to be dissipated for you guys to fully realize why you keep attracting things that maybe aren't in alignment with who you are. So for example, what that would be, because I feel like examples really help us kind of understand. Um, say you're trying to attract your soulmate, but you keep attracting men that are liars or cheaters or this or that or women or whatever your sexual orientation is. I know I sometimes I refer to like, um, I know it's like mostly women that watch my channel. Um, and sometimes I just like speak from my own experience of like my own kind of like perspective. Um, so I'm sorry if I know, if I, if you guys ever feel like you're left out when I'm talking about sexual orientation, I want you guys to know that you are all welcome here and you should all feel comfortable. But sometimes I just quickly refer to like men or whatever, um, or whatever the case may be. But yeah, just so you guys know, you're all welcome. Just allow it to transpire into whatever translation that works for you when I'm talking about relationships. But say you're trying to attract a relationship and you always attract people, women or men that um, are not what you want because maybe they are what you want with their with other aspects but then there's certain aspects that are like wow I really didn't want that extra baggage and I didn't want an, an experience of like someone who's like constantly lying to me or da 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 and maybe you didn't want those things but you, then you realize internally why that keeps transpiring and it could be from a place within yourself do you feel like you deserve someone do you feel like there's even people out there because maybe you've had like a past experience where you think that all men are cheaters or all women are liars or all you know maybe there's a certain belief system ingrained within you that you need to bring to awareness or maybe um there's like past expectation because of like you know maybe your parents relationship wasn't the best or maybe you just feel internally like maybe you don't deserve that, or it could be also a reflection of yourself because a lot of the times we get a reflection of things that we need to be aware of within ourselves as well. So um, by looking at what aspects keep transpiring that maybe we do not want, allowing yourself to reflect within yourself and realizing where that might be stemming from within you, and as soon as you become aware of it, it freaking clears. And the next time you try to manifest it, it's all of a sudden like, oh, I no longer manifest it with 
all that baggage because I become aware, I became aware of certain things. And as you work on it, as you incorporate, okay, maybe if it was like a self-worth issue or a belief system of like, all men are this way. And then you start to think to yourself, well, you know what? They're not all that way because I have two friends that are in great relationships and it must mean that there's good people out there and believing that that exists for you. And if you fully, fully can believe that that exists for you, if you can fully embrace that, all of a sudden your manifestations just like transpire and take place and they become what you want. So if you keep attracting things that don't transpire in the correct way or they're not fully what you want or you're noticing there's a block and maybe you're just not manifesting it at all, doing that shadow work and maybe even watching a few videos on shadow work if you guys don't know what that is and maybe, it's, maybe you need some more examples to kind of solidify the idea of what that might be. Um, there's tons out there um, and you guys will be able to kind of realize why certain things maybe have not transpired or translated perfectly within your manifestations. And then we also do have the ace of emotions. So I feel like in six months from now, all of a sudden you're going to get in a really good emotional state because of kind of like doing this inner reflection, this inner work. And as you guys kind of like do this more internal work with yourself, this ace of emotions, I really feel like you guys are gonna feel more aligned. And this is kind of getting that fulfillment, filling up your own cup, realizing what you need. And as you fill up what you need, you begin to come from a, a, a fulfilled place. Whenever we manifest from a fulfilled place, we get manifestations that are fulfilling because we get what we are, a reflection of our beliefs and the way that we're feeling. And so those feelings then transpire into what we get as a reflection, our external reality. So I feel like you guys are going to then begin to attract a lot of that. And then we have the muse of materials, which is the king of pentacles. So I really feel like all of a sudden, there's a lot that's going to solidify over the next nine months for you guys. And a lot that's going to finally come as a full manifestation because the materials is of course material reality. The pentacles are physical reality. So I finally feel like with this, with this king card, this is you finally feeling like things are flowing into your life the way that they're supposed to. Things are finally um, coming in the way that they're supposed to, especially if you guys are trying to manifest like something material, whether that is like a big purchase that you guys are wanting to make or bringing something in your, in your physical reality, all of a sudden you guys are going to realize more about how to do that and what that requires. And the Hierophant, I really think that this is like a learning binge, finally like studying about okay, I need to know more about what this is and what I'm doing and how I can bring about these certain events in my life that I want to experience. And I feel like you guys are finally gonna get into alignment with how to do that. And then we also have the Knight of Emotion. So this could also be, maybe you guys, there's a lot of water cards here. So I really feel like maybe you guys are manifesting um, like love into your lives, a lot of you guys, but there's, I think like emotional blocks, maybe you guys don't open up fully emotionally, but you guys need to realize how to open up fully emotionally and be emotionally available in order to manifest something that equals your full emotions. Because if you're manifesting things that aren't fully emotionally what you want, but then you're also at the same time realizing that you're not fully emotionally available or there. Sorry, my camera died there for a second. I had to go reset that. So we attract whatever we are internally, just so you guys know. Um, and so it does look like this is going to all of a sudden kind of begin to work out. And about nine months from now, I really see you guys are going to be getting a lot of those things um, sorted out. And all of a sudden you're the things that you've been desiring are going to start coming in. And again, the time frames are very general. This could happen sooner. It could happen later, depending on your own personal timeline. It is a general reading. So I think the average timeline for you guys is about nine months from now that you guys are going to be all of a sudden attracting the perfect things into your life. And they're going to be transpiring in the most perfect way. So I kind of really see that for you guys. And then with this night of emotions, I see this new opportunity coming in. And I think this new opportunity is going to be quite exciting. This could be a date for some of you. This could be a new work opportunity for some of you as well, because the night when it's next to the materials, this could be, this could be dealing with work, could also be dealing with a date because a lot of the times the night of emotions deals with actual like dates and things like that. But we'll add on some more cards to see if there's um, a little bit more of a correlation throughout in the other cards that could kind of give us more detail on what this new opportunity is. But this is definitely like, 
someone coming into your life and asking you something and giving you an opportunity. So let's find out a little bit more. Let's see if there's any more information within any of these. So we have the card of Driftwood. Now is not the time to be fixated. Practice flexibility. So don't get fixated on this must work out and transpire in a certain way and must do this and it must do that. Now's not the time to get fixated. Be, allow yourself to be a little bit of a driftwood for a little bit. Allow yourself to just learn and reflect because I think that that's going to help you realize what's been stopping you and what's been holding you back from getting what it is that you desire. And then we also have the sand dollar. Prosperity is within reach. Ooh, you guys. I think it's been around you this whole time, but I think based on what you guys um, need to kind of clear out, will determine um, how quickly you realize the abundance that you're surrounded by already. And then we also have the lighthouse. When the seas are rough, search for the light. So this is about keeping a very positive mind frame. I also see that you guys are going to realize that keeping a positive mind frame through anything is one of the most important things, especially when it comes to manifesting the life of your dreams, being able to take everything on in a positive way. And even though, yes, bad emotions are still good because they show us something. They show us what we need to work on. They show us what we need to be aware of. But being able to recognize that and then also being able to take it in a positive direction because if something bad ever happens, for example, there's always two ways that you can go. You can allow yourself to be a victim of it and keep playing that and keep playing that and continue going down that road. Or you can heal from it and take it as a lesson and be like, okay, that's what happened to me. And you can learn from it and grow from it and become stronger and then take that and allow yourself to not be held down by victim of it and just go in a positive direction with it. Realize that there was such great learning in that and take it to a positive place. So there's always two directions that you can go with two things. So if there's ever something in your life that is causing anything, be the lighthouse. When the seas are rough, search for the light, search for the positivity within it and recognize and reflect and do those things that you need to do. And then we also have Scorpio of I transform. Okay. Woo. You guys are going through a massive metamorphosis, I would say. And also kind of, again, that deals with shadow work. <laughs> Scorpio deals so big with shadow work. I can't even, whew, I can't even explain to you guys. That is like the one card of like, doing internal self-reflection and bringing to light those things within that might trigger you and realizing where that stems from within and being able to heal that so that it no longer happens. And then you guys can live a lot more, a lot more free of a life and a lot more better of a life. And then we also have the eighth house endings and beginnings, which is ruled by Scorpio. You guys, what? You can't even make this stuff up. Um, a lot of Scorpio cards here. So this is all about that transformation. This is all about ending the old cycles, ending those old patterns, ending those old habits, ending the old victimization of certain things, ending all that stuff and being able to just grow from it and be like, I'm just going to be stronger because of it. I'm not going to keep replaying and repeating the same cycle of this and this and this, and I'm this way because this happened to me. I'm instead going to take that, become strong with it and allow it to be something that is a strength rather than something that keeps me locked in a box. Then we also have the solar eclipse of revolution. This is going to be revolutionary for you guys. I think you guys are going to go through such a massive shift, such a massive change. And then we have an angel number here of 44. So this is, um, taking something that'll actually play out a lot in your future, but in a very positive way. So this is kind of like, there was a reason why, certain things had to transpire in order to teach you a very big thing that is en that is going to end up perpetuating and propelling you to the future that you've always desired. Sometimes we go through some really big things in life that make us realize and make us have like a spiritual awakening, for example, because a lot of the times spiritual awakenings are uh, transpired because of some like big, like crazy thing that we've experienced, but then it leads to a spiritual awakening, which is like amazing. And then we feel so good. And then maybe we make the best job out of it. And then, you know, crazy good things happen, personal experience, but yeah. <laughs> um, so however you take something and allow it to affect you in a certain way, that'll be what kind of transpires and plays out. I'm also getting a random call from a random number. That is very weird. Um, so I always take those as signs of like pay attention right now because this is like, this is something that's going to be important. So somehow 
if you guys allow this new learning lesson to be a strength for you guys, you're going to realize and see a lot of good play out from there. And then we also have today is a sacred gift from life. Ooh. Every day is a sacred gift. It is, we are being gifted the opportunity every day to create new and decide what we want to do from that day. Don't keep repeating the past. Don't keep repeating old things. Don't point the finger to anything else outside of you. Realize and take responsibility internally and then take that and allow it to become such a strength that propels you forward. And then we also have the card of, I do not worry about things I cannot control. Wow, that is deep. I'm going to read it one more time. I do not worry about things I cannot control. If you can't control it, there's no need to worry about it to begin with because it's out of your control. There's no need to waste your energy on it. The only person that you can control and be responsible for is yourself. So you can be responsible, responsible for the way that you perceive something, you can be responsible for your reactions to something, and so on and so forth. And then we also have the card here of fire. Solaris Sublime, oh that's so weird, it says Sublime and I'm wearing a Sublime hoodie right now. <laughs> um, wow, I wanna search up the definition of Sublime right now, maybe that's why my phone was going off because it's like you're gonna have to Google something in a second, so let me Google the actual full definition of Sublime. I know the basic meaning of it, but I wanna make sure that I get this right of such excellence, grandeur, or beauty as to inspire great admiration or awe. Ooh, I like that definition. I'm really glad I read that. So, fire. So, allow whatever's occurring in your life to be the flame that inspires you to then inspire others. Allow it to be something of, of awe. And I really think that you're gonna be transforming your life to realize all of the amazing events that have transpired in your life in order to cause you to grow into the person that you are. Because a lot of the times, you know, if you take a baby and you raise them in the most perfect life and the most perfect things, and then everything happens in a good way, and then all of a sudden they're like 30 years old, are they gonna be very well-rounded and developed? Or do we get well-rounded and developed based on the, the obstacles that we have to overcome, based on all of these different things? Like, you can never grow into a strong person without overcoming certain things and, and using your strength to move through obstacles, to move through challenges, to move through these things. They, they are actually some of the best things that we experience in life because it is character building. It's building us into the most perfect mold of who we could ever be. And then we also have realm bridger. So bridging the realms of going through this and realizing and being the bridge and recognizing it bridges you to where you want to be. Everything that we experience in life bridges us to where we desire to go. It is a bridge in itself. And sometimes the bridge is a journey and, it, and there's a troll on the bridge that we need to um, overcome the obstacle. And then we get through it and then we get to our paradise. We get to our sublime paradise. That's where we get to. But it only comes when we go through the journey of getting there and we're able to accept and grow through the journey of getting there. So some big news that I really see for you guys is that you guys are going to be going through this kind of awakening, this realization. It's going to bring you all of these new opportunities. And kind of what I'm seeing for you guys, based on all this endings and beginnings and things like that, I see this new beginning transpiring. And what I wanted to come back to was kind of a deeper meaning about what this king of materials, king of pentacles is next to the knight of cups emotions. Um, and so what I'm really seeing here is that these manifestations that you desire, and I think it's different for each and every one of you because there's not something here that really tells me exactly what it might be. Um, but I think that is just because of the fact that it is a general reading and it's gonna be a little bit different for each of you, but I really see that whatever you guys have been really trying to manifest, that's gonna start coming into your life. And I really see that in about nine to 10 months from now that is going to really start to transpire and take place, especially if you guys keep on this road of like realizing and allowing yourself to move forward past some certain things that maybe have held you back in a certain way, some certain things that have maybe been causing you to attract into your life things that you don't necessarily desire. Being able to do that reflection on that of what that is and being able to overcome that and heal that, all of a sudden I feel like you're gonna be getting these new opportunities coming into your life that are going to bring you 
what you actually want and what you actually desire. And I think that can come in the form of a person. I think that can come in the form of a career opportunity and things like that coming into your life that are going to be exactly what you do desire. So that's what I see for you guys, pound number four. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.